Mm. You're early. Like, were you just like stalking my channel? <laughs> Hi. No. Uh-huh. Got the notification. Oh, okay, okay. So you, like, click that notification in, like, 3.5 seconds? <laughs> okay, I did not play any off-stream. I was going to. I was going to grind out some money, but I ended up not doing it. Oh, crap. I didn't grab a soda. Shit. Angela, can you take my... Gavin, can you put this in the kitchen? Oh my god. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, somebody put my bowl in the kitchen and hand me a soda, please. Thank you, Michael. I have water, too. I'm a good girl. Don't shake up my soda, you little shit. The baby wanted to bring me my soda, so he handed her my soda. She tried to shake the shit out of it. I just- I have a slight tummy ache. I may have accidentally eaten my dinner too fast, so like, I need a soda to settle my tummy. I'm well aware that it's probably a psychological thing and not an actual thing, but it's coke, so I don't know. Coke does a lot of weird shit. Like, eat through blood on concrete. Oh wait, uh, I'm not explaining how I know that. Mythbusters did an episode on that? Literally, it was in Mythbusters. Oh, did not know that. I, my mom viciously murdered a rat, mal mouse, with a uh, giant lawn magnet and uh, stole some of my coke when I was pregnant with Noah. Nathan is concerned that my knee keeps popping every time I have to straight and then bend it and then I walk. Let me see my doctor. Oh, my mom viciously murdered a mouse that she caught in the house with a lawn magnet. You know, like the big ones that people use to check their lawn for metal before mowing. And, um, she stole a Coke to, uh, bubble the blood out of it. Yeah. Um, have you had issues with that knee before? Because my knee does that all the time, but my knee's been doing that since I was, like, 16. So, I've never bothered getting it checked out. Do not follow my terrible advice, though. Like, if you think it's a concern, definitely get it checked out. Hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a hammer? Really, Michael? Okay, what are we missing? What's missing there? Do we Is there something missing there? Oh, no, I didn't get a new license yet. Okay. So I just need to grab... I need to restock. Uh, what is this? This is milk. Oh, okay. Oh, if you already have issues with them, then it's probably just a flare-up of those issues. Because mine doesn't, like, do it all the time, but, like, when it gets cold, my knees start popping and clicking when I walk. Um, what was I doing? Do, do I actually- do I need to order stuff, or is everything good? I think- I think everything might be good. I think we might be good. Because I don't think we have more... Fridge stuff, do we? No, it's just the floor thing. Okay. And I don't have money to get a new license yet. Oh, did I pay our bills? I did not pay the bills. Let's pay the bills. And then... Hold on. Just out of curiosity. I have done... Okay, I've done 559. I need to get up to 1750 checkouts so that I can eventually hire all of the cashiers. And I figure I'll just do that before hiring any cashiers because that's easier because then I'm checking everyone out and it's easier to get more per day. And then the new restockers, that you have to have racks and storage. And they will only take items off of the storage racks in the storage room. But the storage racks in the storage room have the same little labels on them. So you can... So you know where you're putting stuff. Uh, I think we're going to open the day. I think we're just going to go ahead and open right up. I think I left it all set up for me to go. That's what it looks like anyway. Everything looks like it's all organized up. <laughs> Michael. <laughs>
I can't take care of myself. Mikey is not allowed to uh to go first. I I like I can't function. I can't even shower without help, okay? I'm pathetic. So I I have Mikey Mikey has to outlive me. There is no way around that. Like that sucks for him, but he has to. No, you're not. There, 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 there is no, there, there, there is no. I'm done, Michael. Watch Paw Patrol. You watch nothing. I don't know if it's uh store level or product licenses or like number of checkouts or whatever that gets you more customers per day. Like I really don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna just grind out some money, I guess. Maybe just do a couple of days of grinding money and then then get the next. I, I think I got everything, all the space I needed for the next product license. So maybe we just do a day. I don't know. We'll we'll see how the day goes. Whether we need to do multiple days or just one day. Because fortunately for us, we don't have any um we don't have any employees or anything. That we have to pay, which is convenient. And we also don't have a loan. Although we could take out a loan if we needed to for products for the license. I don't remember what the next license was. Was it the juice and stuff? Yeah, the juices and sodas. That's what it was. Okay. What, Michael? Add to your... Yeah, it pushes the stream off to the side for the ads. You can use our Prime sub if you don't want to watch ads. Oh, well, I don't use our Prime sub. I have nobody to sub to right now. Nobody that I actually watch streams. Hmm? Neither do I. Maybe occasionally. Oh, um, Cheese said he messaged you earlier with some questions on me. I was just making sure that you knew. Not sure! Can we stop screaming, please? Mom is already overstimulated and just needs a chill game. Because it's been non-stop screaming all damn day. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I've been screaming. I don't know what he screamed. I have headset on that blocks out most of the noise. Like, to the point where I hear the screaming, but I don't- I can't make out what it is. Well, that's just straight screaming. Like, there's nothing in that. That's just my daughter screaming. I don't know. Both y'all, shut up. If you heard nachos, then that, that probably- I don't know. I, I don't know. I try to block all the noise out because it's been all freaking day. And I've been screaming right back all day. They would, I told them to keep their mouth shut because they were already in trouble and they decided to keep talking. So I literally just screamed. Just like they do. Just screeched at the top of my freaking lungs. They shut the hell up real fucking fast. Because apparently when mom screams, it's unhinged as fuck. But when the kids scream, it's perfectly fine. At least in their minds. But you know what? I'll be unhinged as fuck if it gets them to sit down and shut the fuck up for five minutes. Okay, it lasted maybe 30 seconds, but like, the point still stands. If it works, it works. So, yeah. Hey, and I took my allergy medicine this morning. So, like, I have water sitting here. And I took my allergy medicine. So, like, I... I am humaning, kind of. Oh yeah, I've done that to the- I- I- I've totally done that before. Totally guilty of that. What, 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 once you've got three children and they don't want to shut up, like, you find ways to make them shut up. 
and crying back or screaming back at a baby, they just stop and they're like, what the fuck is going on? I've done it to the toddlers too. Can you stop? The cat is in the chair. Yeah, I've got Molly and the babies in a box under my desk. I've got Indica in the chair next to me at my desk. And Angela's throwing a fit because she wants in the chair next to me. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do it. It disrupts their- it- it disrupts something in their system just long enough for them to realize that they don't actually need to be crying because if all of their needs are met and they're screaming and crying for no reason, then there's just- it- 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 it helps. Can you stop turning and messing with the chair? The cat is sleeping. But yeah, I think Molly's issue this morning with the babies was, well, on top of the kids going in there messing with them yesterday and stressing her out, um, on top of that, the kittens were climbing out of the closet and trying to wander off. So they have now been put in a box that they cannot climb out of because it's plastic and they can't get their claws into it. So, um... She's been fine since I put them in that box, and she didn't try to take them out of the closet again, so... Whatever, but once we- I mean, I don't mind her being under the bed with them, it just- it needs to be cleaned up, because right now there's just dirty laundry that the kids shoved under my bed. And, like, some Tupperware lids that went missing and somehow the kids shoved under my bed. I- I, I don't- I don't know. I don't know how shit got under my bed. But shit got under my bed, because there's nothing stopping shit from getting under my bed. So, like, currently, it's not safe for them to be under my bed, but once it's cleaned up, I don't care if she wants them under the bed. Because, quite frankly, like, they need a place to hide from the kids, and they're gonna be hiding under the bed or under the couch at some point when they're older anyway. At least the three that we're keeping. My biggest concern this morning was she gave up halfway through moving them, so there was four of them under the bed with her, and two of them shivering in the closet. And I was confused why they were shivering because they were on a blanket and it's quite warm in the closet. Um, whereas where she had the other babies under the bed was cold as fuck because it was along an outside wall and it was freaking snowing this morning. So like, I don't, I don't get it. Why would you take them out of the warmth to danger and cold? Like that makes no sense to me. I don't get it. Because, like, the first time she started trying to take them out, we realized it was because she didn't like the baby gate because she felt trapped. And we'll close that up and we'll check our stocks. We'll grab boxes to move things around. Okay, that's all of the salt. Yep. Little flurries, yeah. But it was cold as fuck outside today, so... Like... Having the babies next to the... To, to the outside wall is not a good idea. And like, sure, she was laying between them and the wall, but like, that's not good for her either. Yeah, I don't know what our high today was. I know Mikey was complaining this morning that it was in the 20s. I today, he says the high was 35, so maybe lower than that. He's not 100%. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, two. There. We don't actually have to buy tea very often because. While it sells, it doesn't sell fast. Because there's not a light direct- because the, the light is- but it's in an awkward place, okay? That's why. And- Everything else uses a different box there. And then all that uses a different box too, okay. Grab the other size box. What, Angela? Okay. 
this is this one? No, this is this one. Oops, I took one too many. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is this one too. My bad. And that's not that one, but it is the cereal one. Yes. And then the other size. This game is just so relaxing and I love it so much. Okay, we need a lot of flour. Okay. It is. I love this game. Like, it lets me be extremely organized without feeling guilty about, oh, I do still have some milk I can stick in there. It lets me be extremely organized without, you know, like, making it difficult to stay organized. Because, like, cooking simulator, baking simulator, all of that, like, or, like, well, the baking part of cooking simulator, like, it makes it so difficult to stay organized. And, okay, I guess we can get our order ready for tomorrow. And maybe go another day before. Okay, so, cereal, we need one box of cereal. We need one box of bread. The blue flour, we need three boxes of. Uh, yeah, I usually played, I, I almost always played in, um, creative or whatever one didn't have to have timed where I could just pick what I wanted to make and just make it because otherwise it just seemed like there was not enough time to do it do I need to open it and show you I mean I'll, okay I'll, I'll, I'll show you in discord later or tomorrow or something because I don't remember how I I I know how to do it, but I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> but I'll show you what it's like. I can I can I can stream that into Discord tomorrow to show you what it's like in that mode. Drink your water. Okay, grabbing water. I drank my water, stupid bot. Okay, so oh, just making sure that I got all three of those. Okay, oil. Uh, one. One oil. Okay, pasta. We need two pasta. Powdered sugar is right there. We just need one of those. Bottled water. We just need one of those. And then that's that order ready for in the morning. It's honestly, I just need every now and then. Problem. I mean, it's actually really buried in there somewhere. Like, it's genuinely really buried. Oh, look. Nothing not found. Nothing found expensive. We did really good today. We got a perfect day. Okay. Rice and olive oil. Okay. Olive oil went up. Rice went down. So we'll adjust the price before we forget. So we'll go up to $7.50. And then the rice here uh went down so we'll go down to 625 okay now i can place my order place that order and then we start at cheese uh two boxes of cheese coffee two boxes of coffee eggs one box of eggs milk we need one box of milk. Tea. We don't need any tea. That's after tea. Uh, okay, peanut butter. We need one. The red flour. We need two. Olive oil. We also need one. 
Oh, wait. Okay, so the olive oil was our last for that. And then the spaghetti. We need one. Got distracted with TikTok mining now. My knee and now dinner and you. <laughs> oh, I told myself two hours ago. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I missed the first part of that message. Okay, rice, two boxes, I think. And then salt, one box. I'm sorry that I'm a distraction. I forgot to charge my Kindle, so my Kindle is charging so that I can read before bed. The book that I am reading, I have no idea what's going on. It's just interesting as fuck. It's another fantasy book. This one didn't have a pronunciation guide. But it did have a map of the realm. See, I don't know. I just I show <laughs> I, I I show Mikey the books that I have borrowed from Prime and just tell him to pick a book and he just looks at the covers and he's like, that one looks cool or that one looks cool. And that's how I decide what books I'm reading for like for my prime books so that I can get them all read. I don't know. Molly's fine. Leave her and the babies alone. Okay, once we open the storeroom and, like, get stockers and shit, we'll we'll keep shelves of things stocked in the storeroom, but for now, we're not going to do that. Uh, peanut butter. We're not a big enough store to need to do that right now, so we're just going to order daily. I wanna, yeah, you could. I mean, I'm not that distracting. And like your your ability to multitask is much better than mine, so I'm also not demanding your presence and talking to me. Like if you got things to do, do your things. I'll just sit here and talk to myself like I do when I'm not streaming. So like this is normal behavior for me. <laughs> Mikey's forever asking me who the fuck I'm talking to as I'm literally sitting here talking to characters in here and or myself. Oops. Wait, you leave your mother alone. I've already told you. I'm not telling you again. Do -do -do -do. No, no. I don't know why Elmo's world has been stuck in my head for days. I, I don't know what the hell that says about what's going on in my head, but that's the song that plays in the background of my mind lately, and I, I don't understand why. It, there's something wrong with my brain, honestly. Like... Because, like, having so having random music playing through the back of your head all the time, constantly, 24-7, is uh, exhausting, for one. And for two, like, what the fuck? Pick a better song. Jeez. I don't know what's broken in my head. Something is broken in my psyche somewhere. I don't- I don't want to- I don't want to go to therapy and find out what, though. That- that sounds terrifying. I'll just keep living in la-la land. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god i'm glad i'm not the only one do you yell at your sims when they don't do what you tell them to because like i will sit here screaming and yelling at them like they are my damn children and they're still not doing what i tell them to or they're canceling the actions i queued up and i just and mikey's just like are you okay this is why i haven't actually been playing gameplay with the sims i've been building and or doing makeovers and i haven't even done any of those in a while <laughs> Oh man, so 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 you like? Oh, this is what they're talking. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I do that too. Do you try to figure out what they're talking about? By interrupt it by interpreting their thought bubbles. I I, d d girl, same. Like, just on stream, you've seen me talking to them, and like when I'm not streaming, it's worse because I'm just talking to the customers and not talking to you. <laughs> And Mikey just sits here and is like, are you okay? Not at all, babe. Not at all. Like, don't ask me questions you don't want the answer to. But, like, that goes for everybody. Don't ask me a question if you don't want to know the answer. Yes, Noah, I do have six of those tiny little boxes. Why is he bothering me, Michael? I thought he was sent to bed. Yeah, and the Sims with their thought bubble then you're right inside. <laughs> I do it too. 
Mikey doesn't have a narrator in his head. Or at least he said he didn't. I don't know. When I was ex when I was trying to explain it to him about the narrator in my head, he just kind of looked at me like I lost my ever-loving mind. Yeah, like, I, how, how do you do things without something in your head telling you, oh, you got to do this. These are the steps to do it. Like, I don't understand people that just do things. Like, I, I can't just, I can't just take a shower. I got to think about the steps, undressing, turning the water on to warm up, brushing out my hair before I get in. And then I have to go through wetting my hair, putting in shampoo, scrubbing the ever living fuck out of my scalp rinsing it all out putting in conditioner like it, 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 it it's not just a do it's 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 a there's a voice in my head reminding me of the steps to absolutely everything which is probably why i have so much trouble building habits because i've never had to just do things ever in my life i have to consciously think about absolutely everything I do. <laughs> Wait, what? When I talked to my doctor about the narrator, he put me on medication for anti-hallucinations, and when I started my meds back up, I told him the narrator only because I missed it last time. Oh, wow. Well. Um. The, but, like, the act having a narrator in your head is a pretty normal neurotypical thing uh, or so I'm learning on TikTok but it's a pretty common experience for, for neurodivergence neurotypicals tend to not have that they also tend to not have like 30 ta chrome tabs open in their brain drugs I want some I see, but it's not a hallucination like the voices in my head are not hallucinations they're just other parts of me I guess I okay. We're let, let let me stop before I say something that will get somebody to call a psych ward on me. <laughs> but like the the narrator is it the it it's kind of similar to my voice. So like or what my voice sounds like to me. So like the narrator in my head sounds like me, kind of. Slightly off. It, it, it's a weird uncanny valley type of deal. But then, like, I also have other, like, I've got... My mom's voice in my head is the one that's always nitpicky about how I look. Are you sure? Because, like... Are 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 you sure that was in your head and not real? Because like I be hearing some shit, and like a lot of other people hear some shit too. Like normal people hear shit, hear and see things, and like shit's been caught on camera and fucking shit before. So like, are you are you sure it was in your head or like, is some weird shit following you around? No, no, I should not be trying to... No, 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 I'm not... I'm, ignore me. Ignore me. You you don't live in the middle of nowhere. Don't, ignore me. Yes, we do. Skinwalker. Shut the... Michael! Shut up. <laughs> Noah, there, there are skinwalker myths all over everywhere. The entire world, actually. Go outside. Do not. Do do not. I I swear the cats talk to me, but like I know they can't actually talk to me. But like I swear to God, their meowing feels like feels like talking sometimes. But like. Me in my half asleep bullshit most days think I, 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 a lot of the time I get up thinking Mikey's still home and I think he's talking and then I go look and he's just, he's already left for the day and I'm just like, oh, okay. What the fuck did I just talk to? That 
That is interesting. Maybe, maybe don't tell a doctor about that because they, they might lock you up. But also don't go... <laughs> don't, don't go absolutely fat shit like me and talking about shit, shit that's not even proven to be real. I'm sorry, there's too much unexplained bullshit going on in the world for me not to believe that mythical creatures are fucking real. They're just really fucking good at hiding, alright? Just leave me to my paranoia. Yeah, see, because, like, the narrator in your head is perfectly fucking normal. Like, that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly fucking normal. It's when you start getting into, like, the sadistic bullshit voices in your head that are trying to tell you to do things that are bad that you gotta worry about that shit. Then then you might need antipsychotic medication. Like my sister needs. Because she absolutely has those kind of voices in her head. I got the... Yeah, see, I... Don't... I'm not judging. I... <laughs> I have some strange things going on in my head, too, mostly from trauma. But, like, medication's not gonna... Oh, I forgot the 10. Medi medication's not gonna help with, with, with trauma responses and shit. Medication's not gonna shut up the voice in my head that, 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 that likes to say bad things about me. Yeah. I I mean that that's true for me at least. Most of the voices aren't there on a daily basis. Although most days I am stressed and upset and in a bad mental place, but I, I, I don't know how I made the voices go away, but I, I've gotten pretty good at it over the years. At least the bad voices. But, like, they're all some version of my voice, so, like, it's weird. The only voice that's not my voice in my head is my mom's voice every time I think I'm fat. Because my mother was the first person that ever called me fat. And she doesn't remember it. Like, we've talked about it. And she she does not, she genuinely does not remember that conversation at all. Meanwhile, it's one of those things that I, one of the few things I'll never be able to forget no matter how hard I try. I do not have a fat voice. I was, I was 15 or 16. And I was a size 3 and barely 100 pounds. 110 pounds tops. And my cousin, who was bigger than me, was doing some modeling stuff that she signed up for at the mall, and I wanted to do it too. And my mom told me I was too fat to be a model. Well, that's a great way to instill confidence in your child who's a teenager. But she doesn't remember that. Because it didn't affect her life at all. And like... It's... It's my sister's voice that tells me that I'm ugly because my entire life my sister has told me how ugly I am. But like... And she still tells me I'm ugly, so like she'll never deny that she called me ugly. She, 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 she'll proudly keep calling me ugly, but like I don't care anymore, but... <laughs> Are you okay, babe? You're fine? Okay. Well, I hope you're fine. But yeah, like... Most people don't remember things that didn't affect them. And, like, things like that are traumatic to teenage girls. And it sticks with them. Like, the weirdest things stick with people. What the? Did you see that, too? She bent over and, like, her whole ass cheeks was hanging out. I- Did I just lose my mind? Or did y'all see that, too? I swear, I be, I.
Oh wow, I'm sorry that you're- I, I'm sorry that you hear that. You're amazing, and I love you, and you deserve everything, and Nathan's not gonna leave you, because if he does, I- I will, um... For legal reasons, I can't finish that sentence. But, like, I'm here for you. You're stuck with me, okay, bestie? Can you leave me alone, Noah? Can you genuinely leave me alone and get off of that chair? That is... How? How are you- Y'all are both amazing to a fault. And I love you both for it. So, like, I'm really glad you guys... I mean, you guys have a pretty damn healthy relationship. So like I don't I don't see how anybody's not good enough for anybody. But like that's just, that that that's that. Y'all y'all have such a healthy relationship. Like I love you guys. You guys are great. Like sure you fight, but like any couple that says they don't fight or argue ever is lying because like that's not healthy at all. Having zero conflicts at all is unhealthy as fuck. What the fuck does that- He could get- What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like you couldn't get one if you wanted one, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? If you wanted a degree, you probably could have gotten one already. If you don't need it, there's no point spending money on it. It literally, education in this country is a waste of fucking money. So, like, if you don't need it, why? She doesn't have a degree either? Oh my god. Oh, she would very much dislike me. Not that I give a flying fuck, but, like, I got kicked out of college. Fuck not graduating. I got kicked out. For getting sick, mind you. I got kicked out for getting sick. I was in and out the fucking hospital with kidney stones and got kicked out because I quote unquote missed too many days. Is there anything else uses this box size? Oh yeah, the stuff in the fridge. Yeah. Like, there's so many better things to do with your time and money than getting a fucking bachelor's degree. Which, like, I'm not going to knock anybody that has one because, like, that's great that you put in the effort and that you did that. You've accomplished something and you, nobody can take that accomplishment away from you. But, like, to look down on somebody for not doing that is, is just astounding to me. Because, like, what the fuck? Ignore the bot. There's nothing. Yeah, like, there's so many. Yeah, like, it's not like you're just making minimum wage and living off of his salary. Like, you're contributing. Unlike me, I literally contribute nothing other than taking care of the children. But, like, that's extremely understandable. Like, how does she look down on you for not continuing your education and supporting her son while he finished his? Like, not a lot of women would do that. Like, there are so few women that would that, that would just work while their, while their guy got his education instead of getting their own. Nathan is really lucky to have you. Childcare is expensive as fuck. And, like, my mom was always... My mom has stopped in recent years. Like, after I showed her how much childcare was compared to my earning potential, she stopped. But, like... um, My mom used to constantly be on my ass about, oh, why don't you get a job instead of just staying home? And I'm just sitting here like, Mom, do you want to see how much it would cost? And this was back when we only had one child to worry about. I... With the limited skills that I have, which are not a lot, because number one, I can't even do most mi most minimum wage jobs because every single minimum wage job I have seen requires me to be able to lift 40 pounds and I can't. 
I, I, I can't lift 40 pounds because of my knees and how fucked up my back is. Because on top of having my back, my back is completely fucked up. Both of my knees are fucked up. One of my hips is fucked up and both of my ankles is fucked up. I, and both of my shoulders too. So like I physically cannot do it. And most jobs don't make accommodations that let and let you sit down and shit. Like nowadays, maybe, but like, yeah, I can't. You can, yes, you can. Michael, you lift more than that on a daily basis. This small fucker's over here laughing his ass off. But um, so like on top of my physical limitations, my mental health cannot handle working. Like we tried. When Noah was little, we tried working opposite shifts. Michael, you can pick me up with absolutely no- Without breaking a sweat at all. He throws me around like a freaking doll. I'm 175 fucking pounds. He's 130 on a good day. I say good day because, like, normally he's like 125, 128, something like that. So, like... I'm just gonna... Go to the next day, and then we'll set up our order. I didn't even put all my weight on you. The kid wouldn't fucking stop. I told him if he didn't stop, I was gonna sit on him. So he didn't. He didn't stop. So I sat. On him. I didn't even fuck it. I didn't. I did not. No, I did not. I barely put any weight on him at all. He acted like he was dying. I was holding my weight on my hands. Just to know, I weigh fifty pounds. Stop. Can you get out of my conversation, child? Why would you leave your mother alone? He's over here shoving the freaking chair yeah. into me and shoving it into the cats. Well, it's 8.30, so, and he- Gavin! I woke him up at 10 o'clock this morning. Okay, but he's in, he's in underwear. Oh shit, he needs a pull-up, yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, I'm physically incapable of doing most jobs because most jobs require you to lift 40 pounds, and I, I can't do it. I- comfortably can barely even lift my children who are like 25 to 30 pounds i can't pick noah up at all and i'm starting to barely be able to i'm starting to struggle picking gavin up and he's only like 32 pounds or something like that angela is like 22 pounds i can still pick her up but not very easily like if she fights me i can't pick her up pull up it's right in front of you um cereal yeah, we need one cereal, one bread. And then one flour should be fine. Oil, let's check. So, like, I actually had to sit down and show my mother what a week of daycare was. And that was back in 2015 with one child. One week of daycare with one child back in 2015 before everything went up. Oh, I forgot to move those up, damn it. Um, Was, like... Six or seven hundred dollars for one freaking kid in 2015 per week. So, like, there was no way I could make enough money to cover that. So, on top of my entire paycheck going to the child care, we would also then have to pay part of Michael's paycheck into child care. So, it would literally cost me money just to go to work. And so, like, I had to actually show my mother the quotes from the daycare centers that we called and talked to for her to even believe me. Because, like, back then, minimum wage was, like, I mean, I couldn't find a job making more than, like, $8 because I had no skills or qualifications or anything or whatever. What was I checking? Uh... Oh, I was checking the pasta. That I just moved. Okay, so I need two boxes of that. But yeah, like, even now, with minimum wage being higher, I still, because the cost of daycare has, like, quadrupled for one kid, plus the fact that we've got three yeah. kids now, and I can't put Noah in daycare because he's old enough to be in school, but he's homeschooled, so... It's just... Sit up. It's, it's, sit it's just up. not possible and like i've tried finding work from home jobs but they all require education or training that i don't have and they're not willing to train me and it's just annoying because like i've tried but i can't
Yeah, and like I had no family to watch my children either. See, I've tried. They require background information. Like they require you to have background knowledge that I just don't have. Uh, I don't think we need eggs today. Some some players just literally just want you to pick up a phone and talk to somebody. But I can't do that with the kids here. That's the problem. I just fired them both. I like a lot of a lot of places that require you to talk on the phone to people require you to have a quiet separate working space for eight hours a day i have three kids in the background that i have to take care of so like the literal only things i can do from home would be um data entry and nothing for data entry uh will hire me because i don't have experience michael <laughs> and like i i've i've tried transcribe i've tried doing transcription work and the kids make that impossible because i can't hear to be able to type up subtitles and shit or type up like the shit like i'm not bad at it i just, oh shit when did i it was the coffee okay okay so it was the coffee so then it was milk peanut butter two flour one olive oil Two spaghetti, one rice, and one salt. And I will hire you. You'll hire me for what? You're not. Come take care of me. I'll pay you. Girl, I can't even take care of myself. I say that like I can, I can take care of other people much better than I can take care of myself. <laughs> Like, I am so much better at reminding Mikey and the kids to eat than I am about feeding myself or, like, making sure they shower versus getting myself showered. We will suffer together. Because I, I can cook. I can bake. I just never have the motivation to do those things for myself. So, like, when I was making a bunch of cookies for my heat to take to work and I was asking Jimmy what kind of cookie, like what kind of candy he want, he likes so I can make him cookies with it. He's like, you don't have to. And I'm like, shut up. I want cookies and I will not bake if I'm just baking for myself and I need someone to bake for so that I can have cookies. And he's like, yes, ma'am. Like, I'm not going to argue with that shit. He's like, free cookies. Sign me up. Conveniently, his favorite candy is also the kind I like in cookies, so. But yeah, I, I'm not capable of doing things for myself if it just benefits me. If it's not benefiting somebody else, my brain tells me it's not worth the effort, so. That's how I forget to eat every day. Because it's not benefiting anybody but me. So my brain says it doesn't matter. Although some days, there are some days where I am just so deep into depression that I'm like, I'm not contributing shit. I don't deserve to eat the food that Mikey works so hard to pay for. And then Mikey's like, no, you're going to cut that shit out right now. See, I could do that. And like, I don't even mind cooking every day either. Like, I don't mind cooking for other people. It's just myself. I, I, I don't like cooking for myself. I made freaking oatmeal this morning for the kids. I mean, yeah, I made oatmeal because I wanted oatmeal, but, like, I cooked breakfast because the kids needed breakfast. Sit here and read. Oh, bet. Sign me up. I will just sit there and read. Just pet the puppies while I read. I w oh, I'd be in heaven. Hi, Angela. She wants nothing to do with me. She's upset with me. There's a what? whole lot yeah. more you can play on. I just... I don't even know why it's so hard for me to do things for myself. It's just... It's, it's, I, I don't know. Probably trauma. Feeling like I don't deserve to be taken care of or whatever. I don't know. Mikey's forever talking about there is no deserve. There is. You're doing the shit. But yeah. 
it, it is what it is. Like, that's why Mikey buys me fucking games and books and shit, because he's like, you, you never buy shit for yourself. That's why I was sitting there trying to talk myself out of ordering that little notebook and pages and stuff. And that's why he just went ahead and ordered it while I was trying to talk myself out of it, because I never buy things for myself. Yeah, Mikey's forever on me about taking care of myself, but then he just says fuck it and does it. He just starts taking care of me instead. No, I don't have enough money. We had to get gas and groceries, so I, I didn't have enough money. I have enough for some, but not all. It's fine, though. I will get them eventually. I'm not in any rush. I've got other books to read, which Mikey reminded me of. What are they called? Um, shit. It's the. They're gonna get gifted to you if you tell her. What? They're gonna get gifted to you if you tell her. She doesn't have my email address. She can't gift me Kindle books. Does she have you saved on Amazon? Yes, but it still requires you to input an email address to get Kindle books for somebody. Wolf tried before. There you are. Some, there is someone that is willing to contribute to the mayhem. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Shut up, Michael. She says, and then she says, fuck. Yeah, you need my personal email address attached to my Amazon account in order to send me Kindle books. Not like it matters. I'm only like a dollar short or two dollars short or something like that. I don't remember because I have credits. I have three dollars and 75 cents in credits, which is enough to buy the first book, which is the book that I borrowed from Prime and already read. But like, in my mind... Not buying all four and just buying the last three makes no sense because then if my mom wants to read them, she doesn't have the first book to read because I already returned it. Jessica, send email, please. What? It, I'm. What? Michael just said oops and sat his phone down. What the fuck is going on? I mean, I have the paperback versions on my wish list because, like, I wanted the trophies, but also, like, what the fuck? Who's the last paperback series I added to my wish list? If you're dead set on finding the Kindle version of them, so, like, they're they're on there. It's just, I... Oh, I do have money. Do How much is the license, and are we going to be able to buy products after we get it? License is $550. I think we'll be good, so we're going to go ahead and get the product license. Fuck! I forgot the bot was working! Oh god. Do not get the paperbacks. They're expensive. The paperbacks are like $13 a piece. Or no, the first one's like $13. The rest of them are like $11.99. I don't fucking know, but they're expensive. Don't... Uh... You have your own bills and things to pay for and take care of. Uh, okay, we got six new things. Oh, why did I do that? I get two of those. One of those, one of those. Two of those. Two of those. And one of those. I'll make three of these. I think that's a good amount to get started with. We will find out. I have hiccups. Uh, They should all be listed in. I thought off to the side see when I click it it shows me all of my lists and they're public so I don't know and I can go to my friends and I can see your wish list and your dog's wish list oh hey I've got some of the same nail polish on my wish list too ow hiccups are painful I mean I wasn't looking at your wish list I swear Okay, we have regular cola can go over here. Okay, 12 fits on a shelf. How many is in the box? Two shelves worth, okay. And this is a different cola, so we'll put the different cola over here. I don't know if it's diet or if it's just a different brand of cola. Okay, so there's two shelves in each box of cola. That's what we needed to test. Um, I know the first book in the series was called... I mean, it's on my Goodreads. I just finished it. It was called The, the Court of 
a court of ravens and ruin or something. I think the series is called The Shadowbound Queen. I, I don't know why I'm giving you this information because you're just going to do naughty, naughty things. And you're going to have Nathan asking why you're spending money on someone. Okay, the other soda. Okay, so I am going to need to get more sodas. Oh, shit. There's only 12 sprites in a box? Okay, so wow. Wow. Okay, then. There's, there's, that's um, that, okay, then. Um, I need another box each of juice, but I might just leave it. But I have absolutely no idea what's going on in the current book I'm reading. I'm on... What chapter am I on? I think I finished a chapter last night. No, I finished halfway through a chapter last night. I'm like 16% of the way on page 112, and I quite frankly don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> it's at the table. Yeah, we got shelf milk, because I don't, I don't know. We have shelf milk. Um... One box per shelf, which is about standard for shelf items. So we'll need some more of this, too. Okay, so I need... Two more boxes. Uh, okay, I need one more box of the shelf milk. And then I need... Two... Two, one, one, and then three boxes of Sprite, I think. Might need more boxes of Sprite, to be honest. I don't, I don't fully know. What are, what y'all doing over there? Or are you talking to, are you, are you talking to Cheese about his computer? annoying there's 24 in these packs but only are those bigger no they're not bigger bottles that's so weird though that there's 24 in what Damn, those are expensive. what's expensive <laughs> where okay there... don't listen to the bot okay just ignore the bot Oh shit. I'm uh, running out of place to put my extra things. Well, I don't refill during the day, so I might just close them and stack them. I don't color, so I don't need pencils. I have some cheap pencils on my list, I think, but I don't color, so. You don't need pencils. You need to leave me alone, like your dad told you. Okay. Oh, no, close. close. Okay. Um, let's close that and just set that right there. That's going to bother me, but we'll close that. Ow! These are all refrigerated things, so I'll just stack them together. So this. Just, just stay. Just, just, just be, be good boxes and stay. Be good boxes. There we go. I'm still gonna have to set all the prices after I finish loading all the shelves. I'm not even open yet because I'm not done loading everything. Okay, that's. Yeah, they. It's easier if I stack them like this. I think.
There we go. I have no idea what order I stacked them in, although I don't think it really matters. Yeah, we still need one more sprite. Because I have a feeling that this shit's going to sell out because it's new. So I want to make sure we're fully, fully stocked on it. Although there's only six of those per shelf, so like I don't know if I want to order a bunch more or not. Oh, um, we do need another spray and why not? We have the money. We've got plenty of money. Might as well, right? It's not. It's just shelf milk. Oh my god, look. It's just shelf stable milk. It's just in special bottles like Nesquik so it doesn't require refrigeration. Huh? Still disturbing. Yeah, it, it, shelf milk is still definitely disturbing. Why do I feel like Britney's up to things? Why is Britney always up to things? But I, I, I was gonna get them next week when, when we might be got paid. If I had money after I go buy the kids Easter plushies. Because Easter's the end of the month. They're not getting Easter baskets this year and we're not doing an egg hunt because I'm not rewarding bad behavior, but I already bought the baby's plushie, so I gotta buy the boys a plushie, too. You, get to pick it out. you can pick at one Easter squish the same size as your sister's from Target when we go shopping for it. Wait, what? I don't know why you're up to things. I had a, I just said I had a bad feeling that you were up to things. Did I not buy coffee? I apparently did not buy coffee. I don't have coffee. Is my coffee, like, in the middle of the road somewhere? Or just did I forget to buy coffee? I forgot to buy coffee. Well, that's annoying. So now I gotta pay shipping on one singular item. I don't know. I just had a bad feeling that you were up to things because you were exploring my wish list and threatening to buy me books and Mikey was threatening to help you do it and I... I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know. I feel the need to 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 check my email real quick. Yeah, Amazon has sent me four emails that uh Brittany has sent me. I, um, my suspicions were correct. Uh, where, which tab is my, ah, which tab is chat? Give me chat. Okay, there we go. Name has a scripture and 60,000. I, 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 I. Uh, 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 I, I appreciate you. All right. I, I might very well, might. In case you did not know. At what? You can make, uh, you can group tabs in, in um, in, um, what's it called? I have, I have tabs grouped. I have. Just I just have too many groups, babe. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups, and it makes my tabs hard to find if they're not in a group. I probably will. I I I yeah. I um. No, maybe not because I don't know how long this book is gonna take me to finish. And like, if I don't finish it before I start those, I very well may forget to finish it. But um. I, I I didn't click accept yet because we're in the middle of stream, so I'll, I'll accept it. Did I order the coffee? Yeah, I ordered the coffee. Okay, we're good to open for the day. With all oh shit, no, we're not. No, we're not. We need to set our prices. Two twenty five. I just I feel so guilty with you spending money on me. I. Do you want more food in your bowl? Three dollars. I just. I, I, I just, 
I do. I very much appreciate them. I treasure books. I treasure everything that people give me. Like some of my favorite things that I have are things that people gifted me or sent me or just made for me. And I just, I, I protect things like that. It's not like it's actual drugs or something. It's books. <laughs> Illegal drug. Yeah, exactly. 11.50. 11.50 for a six pack of milk. Six pack of shelf stable milk. Yeah. Okay, everything is priced now. Or double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, everything is set prices. We've got three sodas. One's over here with the water. Just, you know, your standard original taste cola turco over here. And then over here, we got our bio juice, 100% orange juice. We've got our bio juice, 100% pure apple juice. Oh, it's German. Is that German? I don't know. Orangin is definitely orange in German, and apple.